Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is Redberry Wheel here and welcome back to another quick Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video we are talking about the High Altitude Balloon Challenge and registration is closing. So registration is open this year for the year of 2022 until April 30th. So here is the video to just give a quick summary of what the program is and in addition to that just let you all know that it's a really cool activity and some reasons why you should consider doing it. To summarize what the high altitude balloon challenge is, essentially you get two test tubes and you keep one on the Earth's surface and then you send one up to like 90,000, 100,000 feet in the air on a, on a nice weather balloon ride. And it's really cool. And basically you can compare the control, which is the one that does not leave the Earth's surface, to the one that went up into the atmosphere. And they actually had some pretty cool different experiments that went up last year. And I'll actually link the video in the description to the award ceremony so that you all can take a look at the different really cool ideas that were involved with it. There was also a patch design contest, so if people wanted to create a really cool patch, then they also had the opportunity to do that. One of the really cool things about this is that the competition has a $5,000 grant to the winning team that is selected. So that's based off of the kind of experiment the team does, the patch design, and like the involvement of the members, the documentation, the videos that they come up with to really create a really nice, well-rounded, professional project that shows their experiment from start to finish in a nice encapsulated video and PowerPoint slide, which is like a slide that shows all the information for the experiment and how it was conducted. And so it's, it's a very cool competition that I strongly recommend being involved with. It happened last year and it's happening again this year with a slightly earlier timeline. So I'll share the dates with you right now. So on April 30th, registration is closing based off of your time zone. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. And then on May 2nd, the challenge capsules are sent out to the teams. On the 22nd of July, by then teams have to ship back their test and control capsules to Indiana in preparation for the launch. On the 6th of August, the balloons will be launched in Indiana and it's actually live stream. So you'll be able to see the balloons being launched, which is a really cool activity to be part of. And you'll receive the experiments after the launch. And if by any chance the launch is delayed, it'll happen on the 13th of August. By the 26th of September, the teams are expected to send in their final results and reports in addition to documentaries for the judging. And then on the 22nd of October, then you will be able to watch the award ceremony and see if, if your team might have gotten a, a prize for, for winning like, oh, the best patch or all oh, the, the coolest experimental design. Like there was a team that did like different types of glue to see like the, how, how well they stuck together and if they were even stronger or if they weren't as strong, which was really cool. And there was even like a pizza one, like they sent a pizza, like the ingredients of pizza to space. There were a lot of cool different ones. You can't redo those. You, you got to come up with your own experiments, but there, there are endless possibilities of fitting something into the, those little test capsules. And so just as some quick additional information on signing up, you have to have at least a minimum of two cadets from a squadron to participate, and they have to be confirmed by your AEO and squadron commander before registering the team. You need to confirm they're going to do it, and only one team can register per squadron. If you don't have enough people from one squadron, then you can have squadrons combine, but it's going to be registered under just one. And if a senior member would like to be involved with a composite or cadet squadron, then they can be added to the end of the registration page. And another cool thing is that there is no maximum number of participants. So if cadets are interested or senior members are interested, then they are more than welcome to participate as long as they are actively contributing to what is happening in, in support of the, the squadron's participation in the competition. So that's going to be all for so that's going to be all for the video for today on the high altitude balloon challenge. Again, I will link in the description a video to the award ceremony from last year, and if I have the the national website too, I will include that link for the information as well. And that's the the information in this video is for the year of 2022. So they may update the information for future years if they continue to do the competition. So please be on the lookout for that updated information and know that this is for 2022 only. So if they update the rules, please note that that is a thing <laughs> sometimes. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I, I actually had my squadron participating in it last year and we're probably going to do it again this year. So feel free to leave questions and comments down below and, and I'll, I'll take a look. So thank you so much for watching and that is all folks. Until next time. Toodles.